Well, let's stick to how our election is screwed up. Some of our election system is just ridiculous. For example, Dr. Margaret Flowers is running for U.S. Senate in Maryland. Last week, yeah, yeah. she has fans, she has fans. Last week, she was on stage during the televised debate for that Senate race. There she is uh, in the middle here, and, and as you can see, they forgot to give her a podium. <laughs> Those are some rough budget cuts right there. She had to stand there like a moron the entire debate. Oh, wait, no, she didn't. Ms. Flowers, you're going to have to leave now. It's Dr. Flowers, and I'm a candidate for U.S. Senate right. in Maryland. Is it, and this is how you're treating a candidate? Yay, democracy! You might be wondering, why would they drag a candidate for U.S. Senate off the debate stage for candidates for U.S. Senate? Isn't that like having a Miss America pageant and tasing Miss New Jersey for... <laughs> just because she showed up? Well, yeah, it is. But Dr. Flowers committed the egregious crime of being in the Green Party. And as we all know, the Green Party is not allowed to be part of our national dialogue. That, that would be like letting dogs drive cars or letting women in the workplace. You know, it's just it's not done. It's not done. Every step of our election process is designed to shut down the dialogue, the discussion. But you still need to vote. Why? Because there's nothing the corporations that control our government would love more than for you to shut up and stay home.